Hey guys, I'm Mike Mesuel II, Extreme Nature and Landscape Photographer and Nikon Ambassador. Mark your calendars for April 8th of this year when a rare total eclipse will take place over the United States, Canada, and Mexico, providing a dazzling show above our heads. I often find myself photographing some of the most incredible subjects in the sky, whether that's tornadic supercell thunderstorms, historic comets, or colorful northern lights. Our sky can put on one heck of a show, and I want to show you how to get the best possible shots. Now, whether you find yourself in the path of complete totality or just outside where you're going to witness a partial eclipse, I want to discuss with you the different camera and lens options that are available for you to create captivating and storytelling images of the eclipse. There are a few pieces of equipment that you will need to consider for your eclipse photography. Let's first start with your camera body. For this eclipse, I'll be utilizing the Nikon Z8 to capture my imagery. This is a full frame mirrorless camera, but I highly recommend any camera body that allows you to use interchangeable lenses. You could also use a point and shoot camera that has a zoom lens built into it, such as the Coolpix P950 and P1000. That being said, your lens choice is by far your most important decision for capturing this event. For those using mirrorless bodies, the Nikkor Z 600mm and the Nikkor Z 800mm are fantastic prime lenses that will deliver sharp and high quality imagery of this event. Now, if you're looking for a bit more versatility, the new Nikkor Z 180 to 600 millimeter lens is a great option that will allow you to zoom in and out for varying compositions during the eclipse. If you're on a crop sensor, the 50 to 250 millimeter or the 70 to 180 millimeter lenses would be my go-to choices for this event. Another great option is the 24 to 200 millimeter lens. You can also combine a teleconverter with many of these lenses to give yourself an even closer look at the eclipse. Just check the manual for the lens you own to see if yours is compatible. And if you are utilizing an F-mount lens, but shooting on a mirrorless body, the FTZ2 adapter is an excellent way to combine the two. For Nikon DSLR shooters, there are three great lens options that I recommend. These lenses are the 500mm, the 200-500mm, to and for the DX shooters, a 70-300mm to lens. Full frame camera owners can also use a DX crop to get a 1.5 times closer field of view with any lens they're using. Now, not all solar eclipse shots need to be super tight zoomed in shots. In fact, some of my favorite past total eclipse shots have been shot a little bit wider where they encompass some of the landscape or perhaps a silhouette to give some drama to the scene. For these moments, I choose to go with the Nikkor Z 14 to 24 millimeter or the Nikkor Z 24 to 120 millimeter. Now, once you've made your decision on which lens or lenses that you're going to utilize to capture the eclipse, the next step is making sure that you protect your camera's sensor and your eyes by utilizing a solar filter. There are a variety of solar filter options available. I prefer using a 16 or 18 stop solar filter or creating my own by using Astro Solar Safety Film. Regardless of your method, you absolutely need to make sure to have a solar filter on your camera lens while photographing any portion of the eclipse that is not totality. Finally, you want to utilize a remote trigger to trigger your camera shutter. This can be a cabled remote, but for Nikon shooters, I recommend a wireless remote such as the Nikon ML-L7. You can also connect your camera with the easy to use and free SnapBridge app and control your camera that way. This will help reduce any chance of accidentally pulling on your camera while shooting. All right, your first step in capturing amazing eclipse images is being prepared with the correct gear. I hope this video helps get your creative juices flowing and stay tuned for additional videos where we're going to cover settings and compositional ideas to incorporate into your eclipse images.